Let's jump right into it. Kroger Hot Wheels basic cars in the crate. So this crate does cause some box damage. Look at the piece of cardboard just dangling there. Look over at this blank piece of cardboard. Don't buy these. I shouldn't have to say that. What we can buy is the profitable Hot Wheels cars. How do you find the price on this? Well, you look it up on eBay based on the name. That's the most basic answer. There is a thriving Hot Wheels subculture online, on YouTube, on eBay. So there's more to it, but just for the basics, look up the car name, check completed sales, check the sold sales, and see what the market price is. It's gonna be five bucks in a lot of these cars, but some of these we're gonna see in a minute might go up to like 20 bucks, and you can find these in these bargain bins. You can also sell two packs, one for display, one for play, as I've been told in the comments. Let's just break down how we're gonna sell one of these two packs. Obviously, one pack just gets shipped by itself. If you want the cheapest shipping rate, eBay has good rates for first class mail. PirateShip.com has great rates on priority mail, but these, because they're weighing less than a pound, probably I'd say four to eight ounces per two pack, we're gonna ship them USPS first class mail in a box. It should cost us four bucks on average. So we are two bucks in, four bucks to ship it, and then a buck 25 if we're uh, selling it for 10 bucks on eBay. So all in, we're at 725. We're gonna get back 275 off of our initial $2 investment. So that's more than doubling our money. And obviously, oh wow, one car, two bucks, good for you, no big deal. But if you have more, if you have 100 cars in stock and you sell 5% a day, you're making like 300 bucks a month. Really easy to do, Hot Wheels cars, take some time to learn the lingo, to learn the details. And obviously I'm just glossing over the most very basic way I can. But if you want more videos on Hot Wheels cars, on hunting for rare ones, let me know in the comments below because I had a lot of fun digging through those. Okay, next item. Looking for closeouts is a huge part of retail arbitrage. This is a great example. 320, about half off for dry shampoo. I scanned all these on Amazon. These particular ones are selling for 1726 plus shipping. That's pretty great. I'll make 10, 12 bucks on these depending on the location they go to. So there is a little bit of a caveat to these. Well, two, I guess. First of all, you are probably gated in this category. The second caveat is these have to ship ground. So I'm gonna do UPS ground just to be safe. You could also do parcel post through USPS. And when you ship these, you have to have a special, this might blow up sticker. And I'm gonna show that right there. You can buy them online, super easy. Uh, but you have to have that so it doesn't go airmail and explode and cause a catastrophic plane crash where millions and millions may die. On a lighter note, how about some cheese balls? Uh, these cheese balls, planners cheese balls, a throwback from your past. I sold so many of these last year. I made about four grand selling cheese balls on Amazon. Now currently they are not making a profit. But, 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 uh, these white cheddar cheese balls are currently sold out of Amazon. So if you were ungated in grocery, you could buy these in a 12 pack, buy 12 of them. There's more than 12 there. You have to put them together in a package or wrap them together, but you could make, you could easily double your money. But now you're saying, Blake, you said I'm gated in hair stuff. You said I'm gated in grocery. What do I do? Well, I'm gonna tell you because that's what friends do. You know what else friends do? Friends subscribe to this YouTube channel. They like the video and they comment below with what their favorite retail arbitrage flip is. So anyways, to get ungated, you don't go on Instagram and find some doofus with a Instagram handle that's like, millennial 69 hustler 420. Like, don't do that. That's ridiculous. They're just, they're con artists. They're charlatans. They're ignoramuses preying on the people who wanna make their life better uh, and are willing to take a risk. Well, I'm taking some of the worry out of that risk. What you do with the money you would otherwise have paid to this guy who wants to take your money and rip you off is go to katytexaswholesale.com and buy 10 grocery items. 
the same SKU. If you buy 10 of the same item and you submit that invoice to Amazon, you're gonna get ungated in both the brand you bought and grocery as a whole. It's not like, this is not a, a hack. It isn't a trick. It's just doing what Amazon wants you to do. It's working through wholesalers and KD Texas Wholesale is a wholesaler who specializes in working with e-commerce stores. Use my affiliate link below for 10% off. Use the code WBK10 on your first order and get, like I said, 10% off. And you're not paying for a consulting fee. You're paying for products that you're gonna sell. This is commerce, baby. Let's go to the next item now. On to a few more food items, cookie pop, candy pop and wrap snacks with Biggie on the front. So these wrap snacks, uh, they are selling for a profit right now. Some of the older Biggie snacks, it's like sour cream and onion, you're gonna see on my phone on screen in a few seconds, those are not worth very much. So I would not go out buying all of the Biggie barbecue sauce wrap snacks, I just wouldn't do it. The pop popcorn, you know, cookie candy varieties, Currently, you're gonna get about three times your money if you sell these in lots of like six or eight. They're very lightweight, but there's also chocolate in there. So it's, you know, kind of your call whether you wanna risk shipping it. What I found interesting about these and about the Oreos you're gonna see in a few seconds is that they have a very long expiration date. And so if you're willing to hold out on these or if you maintain your price, uh, like, so let's use an example of uh, like the Lady Gaga Oreos that were, they came out a year ago or so. The price initially very high, then as soon as everyone got a hold of it, they dipped down. But as soon as all of the people who got nervous and lowered their price were out of the market, they came back up. You see that kind of roller coaster up and down price chart. Uh, you can use like Keepa to see it. You see that roller coaster price chart with a lot of Oreos too. Double stuff, gluten-free, carrot cake, there's all sorts of different varieties of flavors that because they're a little bit different and not always in stock everywhere, you can generally get like 10 bucks per case in bulk and 10 to 15 bucks sold individually. To maximize profits, I'd recommend selling them in bulk. Here at my Kroger, they're on sale for 250 a piece. You sell them for 10 bucks uh, in a lot of 10, you're making like 40 bucks off your initial $25 investment. Really, uh, Oreos are great to sell. They don't melt in the heat. I'm happy with these. All right, groceries, check. Mostly for me, but a few retail arbitrage finds. Some good stuff for Amazon, some good stuff for eBay. And that's pretty much the gist of it. You factor in 15% eBay fees, and that's being extremely conservative. If it weighs less than two pounds, estimate eight, 10 bucks shipping. Less than one pound, estimate four or five bucks shipping. Less than four ounces, you're gonna ship it for like 350, pretty likely. You do all the math, you minus that from what you're gonna get total and there's your profit. It's not hard to do. You just ship it out to them. You can use eBay shipping. You can use pirate ship. There are tons of options for you to facilitate this kind of transaction. And then suddenly you're making 50 bucks a week selling Oreos. You're making 50 bucks a week selling clearance dry shampoo. You're making 25 bucks a week selling wrap snacks and 25 more bucks a week selling cookie pop or whatever the heck that stuff was. And then suddenly, 150 a week times 52, that's almost $8,000 a year. Would you take an $8,000 a year raise just to scan some barcodes, type in some letters into the eBay app? Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you're too good for that. Or maybe. This is the start of something new.